Hey guys, Gator here, and welcome back to American Truck Sim. Today I'm going to get to load, uh, do a load that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, I have the, the RTA mods, the Mac, and as you can tell, it's an incredible, incredible truck. There's so much customization that you can do to this vehicle. But anyway, I wanted to use the Mac with the Caterpillar skin. And I wanted to finally get the Caterpillar, the oversized mod, and pull this um, uh, transformer. Uh, this transformer itself is 154,000 pounds, and it's freaking huge. Uh, let's scroll through here. See, it's 154,000 pounds, and we're going to Page. That's 474-mile trip. It won't take too terrible much. Uh, to get it done the overall weight I believe I should be pushing if my calculations are correct about 186,000 pounds so that's a lot of weight that's a lot of weight so anyway um, let's kind of get into it let's get to it because I am wanting I've been wanting to get this thing done for a while so, let me get my other mirror here, reset my track out art. Turn my hazards off. And let's get this thing started. Love the way this truck sounds. Just love the way this thing sounds. <clears throat> okay, you guys ready? Let's get going. <laughs> Some bitch is heavy. Okay, so we're going to come out here and make us a right turn. We'll let this car go by. Swing wide. It's a long trailer. Yeah, look, we did a good job there. So, yeah, I've been wanting to make this run match and marry this trailer and this truck and this skin up together. We run seven, uh, 740 horse chipped Mack engine. And uh, in here, and it seems like it's a pretty good match for it. No, well, pun intended. But I can definitely tell there's some weight. I do not believe the stock truck that has the 390 horse engine. I don't believe they could pull this. I know the damn sure couldn't pull it up a hill. turn our hazards on because it seems like when you have your hazards on it's a lot easier to merge onto the interstate see like right there those guys stopped all right get our hazards off now like I said I got 740 horses and I'm pulling this up a hill 154,000 pounds down like 28 miles an hour. We're in 14th gear, headed to 18. I think I'm gonna stay in this first lane here. And the reason is, is uh, because down here at the end, they both come together. Turn that on. 
And I'm looking at my dash, my uh, my hood mirror, and I don't really see anything. All right, and it looks like away we go. Looks like we've made it out of town without hitting anybody. And for me, that's kind of a first. <laughs> now I'm thinking I'm thinking this trip shouldn't take more than about 25 minutes. See, these guys all slow down right here, don't they? For some reason, they're slowing down. Yeah, I've noticed that in, in ATS. I don't know if anybody else has, but in ATS, I see that quite a bit, where on a stretch of highway, the AI will automatically just start slowing down for no reason. They'll all hit their brakes for no reason. And you would think you would be at a uh, at a spot where there is um, uh, like a, a speed change, speed limit change. But that's not always the, 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 the course, not always the factor there. I don't understand it. All right, so we're up to 55. We're just kind of going to see if... I mean, it's a good-looking rig, man. It really is. Sure. We have our beacons going, too, so it's... Uh, put my signal on and I'm going to move somebody over. I think I'm just going to stay right here. See the coffee pot's empty. Yeah, I, I like the CB radio. I do not like the microphone cord for the CB radio. It, it's very unnatural. And of course, I don't know how you would put a naturally hanging, dangling cord. I said it, hanging, dangling. I just don't see how you would integrate that. So I'm thinking I might remove it. It's part of the Sissel Mega Pack. You can bypass the nearby way station. Bonus, man. We got a bonus. <clears throat> we get to bypass that way station. I don't know why they would do that. In real life, I don't think they would do that. Wasn't bypassing. Just didn't want to hit this guy. So anyway, I'll sit back and let you guys just listen to the sounds of the truck. So, all right, that's enough of that. So I've gotten some comments on my videos. I said my videos are actually too long. And I did some looking and checking, and it seems like the average video for your truck sims, ETS, ATS, 
the average video is like 40 minutes and the majority of mine are running 30 to 35 minutes so I, I'm just I'm not quite sure you know what's going on there but I don't feel like I would be doing a service to the video itself if I shorten these videos so I think I'm just going to continue trying to keep them where I'm keeping them staying right where they're at I know some of you guys might not want to hear that but sorry like a lot of traffic today. It's a big hill. That's a big hill. I'm trying to go through that. Go up it. You guys hear the rumble strips? I was right on them. Yeah, that's a heavy load. I feel like it should be longer. So we got half a tank of gas. Kind of sucking it down a little bit. I think we're just gonna bypass this. But this this uh, truck from RTA Mods, yes, it is very detailed. It's very detailed, even down to the animation with the key whenever you turn it on. And I like that. The battery voltage, the voltage gauge works, the temperature gauge works. Your air gauges work. Everything works, you know. It's just fantastic. Definitely worth the money. I have another video where I talk about the, um, you know, paid mods versus not paid mods. And um, I'm going to do a dedicated video to that pretty soon. But that's my thoughts on that. Somebody's got to create it. Somebody's got to pay for it in order to make it worthwhile to create. So that's why I do not mind paying for mods hey free ones are nice but when you have somebody that's doing it for a check the quality is a lot better normally and those uh all right look here we are now entering arizona it won't be too much longer. We're going to be headed north. And even with over 700 horsepower, I don't think I can get any faster than about 60. Not that you should, anyway, pulling this kind of weight. I can definitely feel it. I mean, you do get the sensation of pulling a really heavy load. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are we at? down into 16. And this 
speed limit just dropped down to 65. So I had to take a little trip or a little break there, right quick, help my daughter out. She just had surgery, so she's not feeling too good. And the speed limit jumped back up to 75. We will not make that today. <laughs> was floating space cars in ATS the newest mod yeah we should be turning north up here pretty soon Rumble strip, run off the road, looking around, rubbernecking. Just rubbernecking. Now, I did take this truck and port this truck over into ETS. So, when I bought it, I say I ported it. I didn't port it. What I did is, when I bought it, I bought the files for ETS as well. And it is pretty cool to see this truck sitting at a light right next to a Scania or a man or you know like that in Europe and that, that's a pretty cool pretty cool deal so you have the same options same same things available come on there brother get up the hill so you have that option when you buy it and that guy's all an ass of course, he's pulling, what, 48,000 pounds, maybe? Maybe. Get our hazards back on. I don't normally do that until I hit about 45. We crest this hill. Yeah, see, we crest this hill, then we'll pick up some speed. There it is. I mean, you look at the quality of this mod, I mean, even down to on the air filter housing, the, the chrome strap that's holding it, I mean, you can actually see the reflection of the cars next to you in the chrome. I mean, eh, that's pretty neat. You just don't get that quality everywhere. The reflection of the sky on the... Uh, empty coffee carafe you know I mean it's there's pretty cool stuff I 
I have a hard time staying in the lanes because I, I'm tend to looking all around. <laughs> I'm focusing on everything except for what I should be focusing on, I guess. And that's uh, driving a truck. We still need to make a couple of long trips. I need to make a trip between, what, LA and Flagstaff. Um, and then there's another one in Northern California. I need to make that one. But we pretty much explored so far about, what, 40% of the map. We still have quite a ways to go. And I'm unlocking things and working on the long distance. So eventually, I eventually I'll be able to make, you know, long thousand mile trips. But right now I think the most I can do is maybe 800. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad. How much time do we have left on this? What do we have left to do here? We've got to scroll through this. Hundred and seventy miles. Oh, we've already knocked out three hundred miles. Not a bad deal. That'll go pretty quick. So we are for sure going to turn north here pretty quick. But I don't. I, I do not have. Um, I do. I do not have any of the um, cross country mods. You know. Uh, the MHA Pro map, I don't have that mod installed. I mean, I have it, I just don't have it turned on. I don't have, um, you know, coast to coast. I don't have that turned on. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to move over here. Maybe not. I can't remember. I get some of this confused between Euro truck. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. I get some of these intersections confused. <coughs> oh. stay right there <laughs> yeah there we go put my brake on up here we're fixing to exit going to Flagstaff didn't really want to come to a complete stop. <laughs> oh, we got a train crossing. And it looks like he's just done. And we are going to make this first right here. Yeah, that there is a has an excellent, excellent looking load.
we turn north now. Speed limit's back up to 65. So we have probably about 10 minutes left and we'll be done. going here. I'm going to move over. There's nobody coming. <laughs> I feel a little more comfortable over here in this lane. And we're going down into two lanes, so we're going to turn this over. Now I do know this truck without a trailer on it. This truck will consistently run about 98 miles an hour, 97 miles an hour. The only one that I had that would go faster was when I had a uh, I had the Kenworth W900, and I put like the 2,000 horsepower engine on it, and that truck could lope along about 120 miles an hour on the interstate, no problem. So you see, we hadn't really burned any fuel. Okay, now is that an Easter egg or not? You have like the traffic cone guy giving you the thumbs up. If that's an Easter egg, they, SES could have hid that a little bit better, don't you think? <laughs> they could have hid that a little bit better. I gotta pay attention through here. I don't want to swing wide and hit somebody. I mean, this whole this whole trip was to pretty much have the uh, idea, the challenge that I could do this whole trip pulling this much weight and not have an accident and, and not have any damage on a trailer. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. We have maintained that. So that, that's kind of the goal. And I think this is only a very short, yeah. See, this goes right back to two lanes. But I wanted to make sure that I'll let that cop get by. We have the, the accelerators all the way to the floor. This is a pretty hard hill right here. We gotta slow down. Without using our brakes. Yeah, I use the engine brake as much as possible. And if you have not programmed one of the buttons on your wheel for the engine brake, you're missing out. You are missing out. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, you see that glitch? For some reason, my track IR glitches like that. I haven't figured out why it does that. 
If you guys know why it does that, leave me a comment. Tell me in the comments below, because I really don't know. I just looked up, and it's like 37 minutes. I was thinking, damn, damn, this is a long video. And then I thought, oh, no, I was up for a while. I, uh, I had to go take care of my, my daughter, so. That part will be cut out. So we're 65, right at 65 miles an hour. Not a bad deal. Yeah, the new patch they put out looks like it really helped the scenery quite a bit. I mean, as far as things are not pushed up so close to the road, you know, things have that depth, that distance that looks like it, it's it's much better, much better proportioned. Let's go back out there. Look at that, man. That just looks cool. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Little canyon action. Hey, we're coming into page. Looks like this drive is almost over. forgot about that. We almost rolled it. Do you think if this was real life that cop would have pulled me over? I think so. <laughs> I think in real life we would have destroyed this trailer. I think we would have rolled it right then. seat back here. I don't want to hit the sun. Oh, looks like I just missed it. Okay, cool. So we're going to the Wahlberg. Like a Walgreens. Here in Page. So it's not this one, it's not this turn. Oh, I know where I'm going, okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this turn. That Jeep's gone. And then we're going to go to this side of the building here. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking beautiful, dude. Be beautiful. As always. We're going back here for delivery only. Transformer I view. So we should be on the side of the building over here. There's our cones. There we are. We have our hazards on.
pool up here. Should be getting close. And there it is. Okay, we got trailer brake on. We're going to turn this off. Go outside and check this out. How'd we do? Yeah. Oh man, that's pretty right there. That's a good, good, good screenshot. I'll take that. Okay, you guys. Let's see how we did. Four hundred seventy-six miles, ninety-nine point nine gallons. If I'd have idled, we'd have had an even hundred. So we made 973 experience points. Got 767 for running that. Proficiency bonus, I'm a level nine. Long distance delivery was 191. Not a bad deal. So we still haven't leveled up yet. You know, I only need the explosives and these other two, corrosive and oxidizer, I guess we really, I only need those three to unlock all my hazardous cargo. My long distance, I, I'm halfway there. So on the long distance, I get uh, up to a thousand miles. So I can do a thousand mile deliveries, I just haven't found one. 15% higher than 650. Um, once I get all those full, I can go anywhere and I get a 30% bonus for anything over 2,500. So that's not a bad deal. So there you go. Okay guys, well, Thank you for riding along and enjoying this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate it. it. It helps us out a lot. And uh, give me the interaction, man. Give me the thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Share it with your friends and uh, hit that like button. I appreciate it. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you. Bye.